Hello friends. Welcome to GMG Accountancy Classes. Today we are going to discuss about Lesson 9 Rectification of Error of Class 11 Accountancy. See there are so many errors. Why we are finding out the errors? Because to know the financial position of the company, to know the correct financial position of the company, we have to rectify all the errors. There are so many types of errors which has been done in a company unintentionally. That is, at the stage of journal, we are doing error of omission, error of commission or error of principle. At the stage of posting, we are doing error of complete omission or partial omission. Also, in the stage of balancing, we are writing the wrong balance in the right side or sometime we are, whenever we forward to the next page, we are writing the wrong amount. So there are so many errors which must be avoided. So unintentionally, it has been done by the clerk or accountant. So how we have to rectify all those errors that we are going to discuss in this chapter. So all the exercise sums are done in this chapter in very easy way. So before doing this chapter or starting this chapter, you must remember the following points. You must note down in your notebook the following points. First point. In the question, if it is given under cost, less, short, not posted, or rupees 91 as rupees 81 written, then write original entry. Always write the original entry. If, second point, if over cost, more excess. Or rupees 81 is written as rupees 91, then write opposite entry. While doing this chapter, you must remember two things. Number one, you must remember the journal entries, and number two, trial balance. These two things you must remember very perfectly, then only you can do this chapter very easily. So, first exercise, state the accounts affected in each of the following errors. See so the question is given, goods purchased on credit from Saranya, rupees 150 was posted to the debit side of her account. So, what we done, we purchased goods from Saranya. So what is the entry purchase account debit to Saranya account but we wrongly post, posted in debit side normally purchase to Saranya to Saranya means it is a credit balance but we return on the debit side wrongly so we have to correct this so how we will correct it we have to write in the opposite side. So the answer is Saranya account should be credited with rupees 150. Okay. If they ask the journal entry by using suspense account, you can write suspense account debit to Saranya account because Saranya is a credit balance. So we have to write in the credit side. Okay. Now we move on to second question. Question B. First question B. The total of purchase book is rupees 4500 was posted twice. So, purchase book is what? It is a debit balance. Twice means, twice means what? Excess. Extra. More. So, what I said in the starting itself, in the second point, if it is extra, excess, more, then you have to write the opposite entry. 
So purchase a book is debit balance. Opposite means credit. So you have to write purchase account should be credited with rupees four thousand five hundred. If you have to write the journal entry, you can write suspense account debit to purchase account. Now move on to question number two. Rectify the following errors discovered before the preparation of trial balance. Second question: Sales book was under cost by rupees hundred. Sales book was under cost by rupees hundred. So, sales account should be credited with rupees hundred. Why? Sales is a credit balance. Simple. Under cost means you have to write in original. So originally sales is a credit. So you have to write in credit. Sales account should be credited with rupees hundred. So journal entry is suspense account debit to sales account. Now move on to B. Purchase written book was over cost by rupees two hundred. Over cost means opposite. Normally, purchase return is switch balance, debit balance or credit balance. Purchase return in originally it is a credit balance, but over cost means you have to write in opposite side. So purchase return account should be debited with rupees two hundred. If they ask the entry, you can write purchase return account debit to suspense account. Otherwise, statement first line is enough. Now move on to question number three. First question: Sales book was under cost by rupees four hundred. Sales book was under cost by rupees four hundred. Under cost means what? Original entry you have to write. Sales is what? It is a credit balance. So simple. The answer is sales account should be credited with rupees four hundred. So suspense account debit to sales account two means credit balance. Okay. So always you have to remember the first two points notes. So that this chapter is very easy to do it. Next one sales return. Sales return book was over cost by rupees five hundred. So sales return normally it is a which balance debit balance, but it is a over cost. Over cost means what we have to do opposite. So sales return account should be credited with rupees five hundred. So you have to write the journal entry suspense account debit to sales return account. Then only it will tally. Next question: Purchases book was under cost by rupees six hundred. Under cost means original entry you have to write. So purchase account is a debit balance. So you have to write purchase account should be debited with rupees six hundred. Journal entry if they ask you can write purchase account debit to suspense account six hundred. Now we move on to next point. D. Purchase return book was over cost by rupees seven hundred. Over cost means opposite. Normally purchase return is credit balance, but opposite means debit. You have to write. So this is the error which we have to rectify. Purchase return account should be debited with rupees seven hundred. Journal entry is purchase rectify entry is purchase return account debit to suspense account seven hundred. Next, bills receivable book bills receivable is an asset. Asset is always a debit balance because all the assets items are debit balance, all the liabilities items are credit balance. Under cost means original. Original means bills receivable is a debit balance. So, answer is bills receivable account should be debited with rupees eight hundred. 
Debits receivable account debit 2, suspense account 800. Now, fourth question. Rectify the following errors before preparing the trial balance. The total of purchase book was carry forward rupees 90 less. I underlined the important points in the question which you have to remember and which you have to see. See in this line the important point is purchase and less. So purchase is a debit balance. Less means under cost, original entry. So original purchase is a debit balance. So purchase account should be debited with rupees 90. Journal entry is purchase account debit to suspense account. Next question. The total of purchase book was carry forward as rupees 180 more. When it is more means excess, extra, over cost. So you have to write opposite. Normally purchase is debit balance. But over cost means opposite. More means opposite. So opposite of debit is credit. So answer is purchase account should be credited. Purchase account should be credited with rupees 180. So the answer is 180. Suspense account debit to purchases account. Next one. The total of sales book was carried forward rupees 270 less. The total of sales book was carried forward rupees 270 less. Less means under cost. So original entry. Sales is a credit balance. So simple. Sales account should be credited with rupees 270. If they ask rectify entry, you can write suspense account debit to sales account. Next question. The total of sales return book was carry forward rupees 360 more. More means extra over cost. So opposite entry. Normally sales return is a debit balance. But opposite means credit. So the answer is sales return account should be credited with rupees 360. So the answer for rectifying entry is suspense account debit to sales return account. Next question that is E the total of purchase return book was carried forward rupees 450 less. Answer purchase return account should be created with rupees 450 less means under cost. Under cost means same. So purchase return is a credit balance. So purchase return account should be credited with rupees 450. Rectify entry is suspense account debit to purchase return account. Move on to fifth question. The following errors were located by the accountant before preparation of trial balance. Rectify them. So the first question. The total of the discount column of rupees 1100 on the debit side of the cash book was not yet posted. Simple. Not yet posted means original entry. Still it has been not posted. Forgot to write. So we have to write the answer. Discount debit means discount allowed. If it is given discount credit means discount received. So dis debit side means discount allowed or discount paid. So discount allowed is a debit balance. So you have to write the original entry if it is not yet posted or under cost or less. So answer is discount allowed account should be debited with rupees 1100. So discount allowed account debit to suspense account 1100. We have to write the original entry because we forgot to write in the account. Okay. Now we move on to next question. The total of the discount column on the credit side of the cash book was under cost rupees 500. 
So under cost means original entry. Discount, I had done the underline in the question. Discount and credit side. Discount credit side means it is a discount received. Discount received original is which type of balance? It is a credit balance. So you have to write in credit side. So the answer is discount received account should be credited with rupees 500. Rectify entry is suspense account debit rupees 500 to discount received account 500. Next question. Purchase goods from Anbu Chelvan on credit for rupees 700 was posted to the debit side of his account. So it has been wrongly posted on the debit side. Purchase goods from Anbu Chelvan. What is the normal journal entry? Purchase account debit to Anbu Chelvan account because it is a credit purchase. So Anbu Chelvan is a credit balance but wrongly it is posted on the debit side. So we have to correct it. So correct means we have to write in opposite side. It has been wrongly debited in the Anbu Chelvan account. Now we have to rectify it. So Anbu Chelvan account should be created with rupees 700. The answer is suspense account debit to Anbu Chelvan account 700. Understand? Next. Sale of goods to Pun Mukil on credit rupees 78 was posted to her account as rupees 87. So it is a excess. It is a excess amount. So excess means what we have to write? We have to do opposite. Instead of 78, it has been written 87. So normally what is the answer for sale of goods to Ponmikil? What is the original entry? Ponmikil to sales. But because of excess amount, we return 9 rupees. We have to correct it. So we have to write in the credit side. Opposite. Excess means opposite. Ponmikil account should be created with rupees 9. Because her account only done the mistake. Not the other account. So in his account only we have to write Ponmikil account should be created with rupees 9. Rectify entry is suspense account debit to Ponmukil account 9. Next question. The total of sales return book of rupees 550 was posted twice. Twice means double. Wrongly posted. Extra. Over cost. So over cost means opposite. Normally sales return is a debit balance. But opposite entry means credit balance. So sales return account should be created with rupees 550. Suspense account debit to sales return account 550. Now sum number 6. From sum number 6 onwards each and every entry you have to see it very carefully. Because in so many places it is a one side error. Sometime it is double side error. One side error means only one account is affected. Double side error means two accounts are affected. Now we will see what error has been done in this entry. We have to rectify. Exam you have to write only rectifying entry. I given correct entry, wrong entry and rectify entry to understand how you have to write the rectify entry. This current correct entry and wrong entry you have to do in a rough paper. In the exam you have to write only rectify entry. No need to write correct entry and wrong entry. That is only for your rough. Wages paid rupees 2000 for the erection of machinery was debited to wages account. Normally erection of machinery means whenever we purchase the machinery whenever we purchase the machinery all the erection charges erection means installation charges must be added with the machinery account 
but instead of writing the machinery they return wages see here down in the answer correct entry is machinery account debit to cash account because direction installation charges must be added with the machinery but instead of machinery what he done he return wages account debit to cash account wrongly return as wages so to cash is right there is no mistake in to cash only the debit balance is wrong so first you have to write correct entry in the first rectifying entry machinery account debit 2000 see the rectify entry machinery account debit 2000 now see the wrong entry wages account debit so if you want to rectify we have to write in opposite side credit now see the rectifying entry to wages account 2000 so now it has been rectified so if it is wrong entry it is written debit side you have to write in rectify entry opposite side credit side okay next one sales return book was short total by rupees 1000 short means under cost under cost means original entry what is the original entry sales return account should be debited with rupees 1000 that's why underline short and sales return so that you can easily identify identify the question and you can do the answer easily so sales return account should be debited with rupees 1000 say sales return account debit to suspense account 1000 next question goods purchase for rupees 200 goods purchase for rupees 200 was posted as rupees 2000 to purchase account how much we have to write only 200 rupees but wrongly what we posted 2000 rupees so it is more or less it is a more excess excess means we have to write opposite entry normally purchase is a debit balance but opposite of debit is credit so answer is purchase account should be credited with rupees 1800 because 200 is originally we have to write 2000 minus 200 1800 we return excess so we have to write the amount only 1800 so suspense account debit 1800 to purchases account 1800 800 next question the sales book was over cost by rupees 1500 over cost means opposite simple sales is a credit balance opposite means debit balance so sales account should be debited with rupees 1500 sales account debit One thousand five hundred two suspense account. Next question. Cash paid to Mukil rupees two thousand eight hundred, which was debited to Akhil account at rupees two thousand. So, what is the correct entry paid to Mukil, which I done underline? Mukil account debit to cash account. So Mukil account debit to cash account is two thousand eight hundred. That is the correct entry. But wrongly what we done instead of Mukil, we deposit into Akhil account. We deposit into Akhil account as two thousand. So only debit side is mistake we we done in the account. So in the rectifying entry, what we have to do? first we have to write mukil account 2800 then see the wrong entry debit side we done the wrong akil now if we want to rectify we have to write in opposite side if we write return akil account debit now we have to write in the credit side see the rectify entry to akil account 2000 so 2800 minus 2000 the balance 800 rupees is suspense account 
so to suspense account 800 rupees now we rectified this entry now move on to next one seventh question the following errors the following errors were located at the time of preparing the trial balance rectify them first question personal expenses of the proprietor rupees 200 personal means always drawings was debited to traveling expenses account so his personal expenses correct entry is drawing to cash whenever his personal expense means drawings so drawings to cash instead of drawings account should be debited what he done he debited to traveling expenses account that is the mistake what is done in the entry so how we have to rectify see the correct entry is drawing to cash wrong entry is traveling expenses account debit to cash account so rectify entry how we have to write first see the correct entry debit side what is done drawings account debit so we have to write drawings account debit wrong entry traveling expenses is given in the debit side which is wrong now we have to correct it means we have to write in the credit side so write it to traveling expenses account 200 next one goods rupees 400 purchase from Ramesh on credit was wrongly created to Ganesh account was wrongly created to Ganesh account so what we have to do that purchase from Ramesh what is the correct entry purchase account debit to Ramesh account but wrongly what we done we credit the Ganesh instead of Ramesh we credit the Ganesh see the wrong entry purchase account debit to Ganesh account so if you want to rectify the Ganesh what we have to do we have to write in the opposite side now see the first correct entry to Ramesh account is given purchase is correct only the credit balance is done mistake so what you have to do to Ramesh we have to write in the rectify entry perfectly to Ramesh in wrong entry Ganesh is written in the credit side two side now we have to write in the opposite side debit side now see the rectify entry Ganesh we have to write in the debit and to Ramesh account in the credit side so your account is rectified your entry is rectified understand so if you want to rectify the entry simple thing in wrong entry if Ganesh is written in the credit side you write in the opposite debit side so the answer will be rectified next question an amount of rupees 500 paid as salary to Maruti was debited to his personal account so what you done you paid salary normally when you pay salary what is the correct entry salaries account debit to cash account but wrongly what he done he debited to his personal account he debited to Madhi account so wrong entry is Madhi account debit to cash account so two cash two cash is right only in the debit side they done the mistake so what I said first we have to write the correct entry in the correct side salary is debit balance so rectify entry we have to write salary account debit and Madhi which is written in the wrong entry debit side now we have to write in the credit side to Madhi account rupees 500 understand now we have to move to next question next question D an amount of rupees 2700 paid for extension extension of building 
was debited to repair account so the same installation at the time of installation when I mean, we purchase the new building whatever we done the repair it will become under building account or if we remodel the building it will come under building account not in the repair account but instead of building account they written in the repair account they debited into the repair account now see the correct entry correct entry is building account debit to cash account but instead of building account debit in wrong entry what they done they done repairs account debited so in rectify entry we have to write first the correct entry one building account debit 2700 then see the wrong entry repairs is written in the debit side we have to write in the opposite side so two side two repairs account 2700 understand if in a wrong entry it is written in the debit side in rectify entry you write in the credit side two repairs 2700 so your entry will be rectified next question a credit side a credit sale of goods of rupees 700 on credit to megala was posted to krishnan account so what happened sale of goods to megala instead of megala they return the name krishnan wrongly they return the name as krishnan so normally what is the entry correct entry if we sell goods to megala the correct entry is megala account debit to sales account but instead of megala in wrong entry what they done krishnan account debit to sales account so in debit side they done the mistake instead of megala they return krishnan now same thing we have to repeat correct entry megala account debit so write the rectifying entry first megala account debit 700 then see the wrong entry krishnan account written in the debit side in rectify entry you have to write in the credit side so in rectify entry you have to write to krishnan account 700 next we move on to question number 8 rectify the following errors discovered after the preparation of trial balance rent paid was carry forward to the next page rupees 500 short rupees 500 short so what i said short less means we have to write the original entry so what is the rectifying entry rent account debit because rent is a debit balance so rent account debit to suspense account you have to write only the rectify entries so whenever it is given in the question after the preparation of trial balance see the first line if they have if they written after the preparation of trial balance you have to write only rectifying entry no need to write the statement so rent paid is a debit balance so rectifying entry is rent account debit to suspense account next one wages paid was carry forward rupees 250 excess excess means extra over cost so you have to write opposite entry wages is a debit balance now what we have to write in the credit side so rectifying entry is suspense account debit to wages account okay next one question number 9 give the give journal entries to rectify the following errors discovered after the preparation of the trial balance whenever it is given after the preparation of trial balance we have to write only rectifying entries so when we have to write the rectifying entries we have to use the suspense account now see in this sum they return purchase book was over cost purchase book was 
ओवर कॉस्ट बाई रुपीज टेन थाउजेंड सो परचेज इज ए डेबिट बैलेंस ओवर कॉस्ट मीन्स ऑपोजिट सो वी हैव टू राइट इन क्रेडिट साइड सो द आंसर इज सस्पेंस अकाउंट डेबिट टू परचेज अकाउंट नेक्स्ट वन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन रिपेयर्स टू फर्नीचर रुपीज फाइव हंड्रेड वॉज डेबिटेड टू फर्नीचर अकाउंट सो रिपेयर्स टू फर्नीचर इंस्टेड ऑफ रिपेयर्स दे डेबिटेड द फर्नीचर अकाउंट रॉन्ग एंट्री सो यू हैव इन एग्जाम यू हैव राइट ओनली रेक्टिफाई एंट्री दिस करेक्ट एंट्री रॉन्ग एंट्री एंड रेक्टिफाइंग एंट्री ऑल द थ्री एंट्रीज वाई आई एम राइटिंग बिकॉज यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ दिस आंसर हेज केम बट इन एग्जाम यू हैव टू राइट ओनली रेक्टिफाइंग एंट्री नाउ अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन इंस्टेड ऑफ रिपेयर्स ए डेबिटेड द फर्नीचर अकाउंट सो करेक्ट एंट्री इज रिपेयर्स टू कैश but wrong entry is furniture to cash so to cash is right so no need to do anything with that in correct entry repairs account is debit so in rectifying entry you have to write repairs account debit so whatever written in the correct entry that you have to write exactly in the rectifying entry if it is in the debit side written you have to write in debit side if it is written in the credit side two means you have to write in the two now repairs account is debit side so in rectifying entry you have to write repairs account debit in the wrong entry furniture account is debit to rectify furniture account we have to write in the opposite credit side so see the rectifying entry to furniture account 500 so what is the rectifying entry repairs account debit to furniture account 500 understand next question a credit sale of goods to akil Nilavan, rupees four fifty six was credited to his account as six fifty four. So instead of four fifty six, it has been written six fifty four. It is a over cost. Normally, sale goes to Akil Nilavan. What is the answer? Akil Nilavan account debit to sales account. But because it is over cost. We have to write is opposite side. So the answer is suspense account debit to Akil Nilavan account. Only the excess difference amount we have to write. Rupees one ninety eight six fifty four minus four fifty six. Understand? So whenever excess amount or extra amount given means you have to write opposite entry. Next one. Next. Tenth question in this six clearly mentioned. You have to write the journal entry, and you have to use the suspense account. So question number one: the total sales in tenth question A, the total sales book was under cost by rupees three fifty. Under cost means original entry. Sales is a credit balance. So rectifying entry is simple. Suspense account debit to sales account three fifty. Next one, the total of the discount column on the debit side of the cash book rupees four twenty was not posted. Not posted means original entry. Not posted less under cost means you have to write original entry. Now discount debit means it is a discount allowed. So discount debit means it is a debit balance. So you forgot to write the entry. Now you have to write this entry. So rectify entry is discount account debit to suspense account. Next question. The total of one page of the purchase book is rupees five thousand three fifty three. Was carry forward to the next page as rupees five thousand five thirty three, so it is more or less. It is more excess rupees one eighty, so excess means we have to write opposite entry. 
purchase is a debit balance opposite of purchase debit balance is credit balance so rectify entry is suspense account debit rupees 180 to purchase account 180 understand so in rectifying entry suspense account debit 180 to purchase account 180 5533 minus 5353 5353 is 180 excess the difference value only we have to write okay next next question salary rupees 2400 salary is rupees 2400 was posted as rupees 24000 so instead of 2400 it is written 24000 so it is more excess so we have to write opposite entry salary is a debit balance but to rectify it we have to write in opposite side credit side so the answer is suspense account debit 21600 to salary account 21600 24000 minus 2400 21600 the difference value we have to write in the answer next question purchase of goods from sembian ma devi on credit rupees 180 was posted to her account as 1800 So instead of one eighty, it is written one thousand eight hundred. So it is an excess over cost. So over cost means we have to write opposite entry. Normally, purchase goods from Sembian Sembian Devi means the original entry is purchased to Sembian Devi. It's a credit balance in original, but when we have to rectify it is excess means we have to write opposite so name we have to write in the debit side so simbinama devi account debit 1620 to suspense account 1620 so 1800 minus 180 next one 11th question rectify the following journal entry see kumran account debit to cash account 10000 salary paid to kumran normally salary paid this entry is given wrong entry we have to rectify it so simple way to rectify salary paid to kumran normally salary paid to kumran is what is the answer salary to cash but what we have to done what we done in the question instead of salary we debited kumran instead of salary we debited kumran so now we, what we have to write salary we have to debit and kumran which is wrongly written in the debit side we have to write in the credit side so the answer is see down salary account debit to kumran account 10000 salary rectified next one sangoti Sangu to one account debit to cash account rent paid to Sangu to one normally rent paid is what is the answer what is the correct entry rent account debit to cash account but instead of rent is written then Sangu to one so if it is written in the debit side we have to correct it when we have to correct it we have to write in the opposite side credit side so see it. rent account debit is the original answer so rent account debit we have to write in the debit side and sangu to one which is written in the question debit side now we have to write in opposite side credit side to sangu to one account 6000 so now rent is rectified so if it is wrongly written in the debit side we have to write in the credit side the simplest thing opposite side next one cash account debit to sales account what we done we done furniture sold for cash when we sold furniture what comes in cash comes in because it is an asset so we have to write furniture account should be created so the answer is cash to furniture in original entry 
but instead of furniture we return sales so say two sales is given in the question so when two sales is given in the question we have to write in opposite side see the answer c sales account debit to furniture account because furniture account always side in the credit side because we sold furniture so furniture goes out so we have to rectify so sales account should be debited next one cash account debit to kumar raja account goods sold to kumar raja for cash means when we sell goods to when we sell goods for cash it is a cash sales so cash account debit to sales account but instead of sales we return kumar raja in the credit side so we have to rectify it. two sales we have to write in the correct side and kumar raja which is wrongly given in the credit side we have to write in the debit side to rectify it next one money maran account debit to purchase account goods taken by the proprietor mr money maran for his personal use personal use of goods whenever goods taken for personal use is drawings account data to purchase account but instead of drawings what he returned money maran so in debit side we have to write drawings and money maran which is hidden in the debit side we have to write in credit side to correct it this entry to rectify this entry so see the answer drawings account debit to money maran account 1000 drawings are rectified next question number 12 errors after preparing the trial balance and you have to use the suspense account wherever it is necessary so first question is machinery purchased for rupees 3500 was debited to purchase account so machinery purchased and instead of we have to put in machinery account debit side he wrongly debited the purchase account so machinery purchase what is the correct entry for machinery purchase machinery account debit to cash account but what we return wrong entry purchase account debit to cash account so if you want to rectify the entry machinery account debit correct entry we have to write in the correct side in the rectifying entry machinery account debit in the wrong entry which is wrongly return purchase in debit side we have to rectify so we have to write in opposite side to purchase account so machinery account debit to purchase account 3500 next rupees 1800 paid to raina as salary was debited to his account so instead of salary we debited to his personal account in raina personal account so what is the correct entry salary paid salary account debit to cash account but wrongly what he done raina account debit to cash account so if you want to correct the entry rectify the entry first we have to see the correct entry salary account debit we have to write in the rectifying entry salary account debit now raina return in the wrong entry debit side we have to correct it and write it in the credit side to raina account so now it is rectified rectifying entry means in the wrong entry which is given in the debit side we have to write in the credit side so whatever mistake has been done in the wrong entry we have to correct it next interest received rupees 200 was created to commission account interest received 200 was created to commission account 
सो द करेक्ट एंट्री इज कैश अकाउंट डेबिट टू इंटरेस्ट रिसीड अकाउंट बट रॉन्गली वॉट यू डन कैश अकाउंट डेबिट टू कमीशन अकाउंट इंस्टेड ऑफ इंटरेस्ट रिसीव्ड क्रिएटेड ई रिटर्न द क्रेडिट साइड कमीशन सो वी हैव टू रेक्टिफाइड इन द करेक्ट एंट्री टू इंटरेस्ट रिसीव्ड इज रिटर्न सो वी हैव टू राइट इन रेक्टिफाइंग एंट्री फर्स्ट टू इंटरेस्ट रिसीव नाउ कमीशन विच इज रिटर्न रॉन्गली इन द रॉन्ग एंट्री क्रेडिट साइड वी हैव टू राइट इन द ऑपोजिट साइड दैट इज डेबिट साइड सो रेक्टिफाइंग एंट्री कमीशन अकाउंट डेबिट टू इंटरेस्ट रिसीव्ड अकाउंट नेक्स्ट वन गुड्स वर्थ रुपीज वन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड परचेज फ्रॉम अमोद अनिला ऑन क्रेडिट वॉज नॉट रिकॉर्डेड 